Good morning ladies, today we're doing a tutorial about shipping modules in Bearcart, um, how to actually change how much charging for shipping and also how to edit the names so that we don't have this like here flat rate and table rate, they don't really explain what's going on to our customer. Um, so we're going to actually show you how to change that for yourself as well so that you've got full control over your shipping modules. So when you go into here, you can click install module um, and see the options that are actually available. In most cases, there'll be more than these um, showing in your admin. Um, I do tend to install a lot at um, setup, so they can be adjusted and changed around as needed. Um, but what we're going to do today is just go with our flat rate and our table rate. These are the two most commonly used. Um, flat rate, obviously, as it says, you'll have a flat rate shipped to throughout Australia. Um, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and edit the price first. So you want to click edit here and then change it to our shipping cost. Now we're going to go 995 for shipping. We're going to leave that exactly as is and change that over. So now if we double check on that, that's been updated to 995 for our flat rate. We also want to check out our table rate. Now what this can do is actually it works on either a basis of how much weight you have in your cart or how much the order total is worth. Um, you can use either of those to actually measure it and in that way we actually can modify um, the shipping weights in bear cart as well to make this work for how many items you want to have or if something's a bulky item you can put it at a larger number in that weight category there um, and actually take the price up in your postage as well. So what we're going to do is go ahead and edit this as well. So there's a whole lot of numbers here so what we do is it's actually does explain it a little bit but it is still quite tricky. So with here we've got the total cost or weight of items and what we want to do is this example here tells us that of a weight up to 25 we want to charge $8.50. For a weight up to 50 we want to charge $5.50 and so on. So what we want to do is we'll go ahead and change that and we want to go with for a weight up to 5 so we put in our weight colon and that's going to be $14.95 so then we want to include a comma which separates our different shippings. So then we'll go with a weight of 15, colon, 9.95. And you can just keep going on. What you want to do as well with a large one, I usually pop, say, 10,000, which no one's ever really going to get to, and that can be 5.95. So anything over that 15 weight is going to go straight into the larger category there. What you can also do with this one is charge it by price. So if you're doing, um, say we want to go with orders over, normal orders are $9.95, but orders over $100 get $4.95 shipping. What we would do is have $99 and then $9.95, comma, 10000 is 495 so you don't want to have any spaces in there and you want to just keep it as simple as possible. So it's the number, the highest number required, colon, price, comma. And that's how it follows along. And you can see that in the example above as well. So if you get stuck, you can always go back and go through that again. We're going to leave this one stuck on price now. And we're going to just go ahead and click save. What we're going to do next is actually change that name because table rate doesn't make a lot of sense to our customers. So we're going to jump over into C panel and in our C panel we can go into the file manager again. So once in here we're going to do a little bit of code work, seriously not scary at all. We're going to go to click includes, languages, English, modules because that's where we are in our admin. So, and then we want to go into shipping. What we'll find here is these are the files that actually tell our shop 
what words need to be used. And this can be for anything in the shop. They're all in that English file. Um, there are a few things that we're going to keep note of, but for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and change our table rate. So obviously that's table.php. You can find the name in here as well. When you edit, you'll see the module up here. So I can see that's table. There are sometimes you'll have table two and table three or flat two and flat three um, based on what's been installed in your store. So we're going to jump back over here and click edit. Now what we can do, these ones are pretty straightforward files. There's nothing too scary about them at all. Um, and this just tells the cart what we want it to say. So our title here is table rate. And obviously we want to do that. So um, maybe we can go with flat rate shipping within Australia because we want to give our customers as much detail as possible. Orders over $100 um, 495 So this will actually tell our customers when they're looking at their shipping that if they actually order more up to $100, they'll get that reduced rate of shipping from the $9.95 down to $4.95. So what we're going to have here is the description. I usually pop this as the same one. So we'll just copy and then we'll paste that here. So that just gives us a double up way. Best way does come up in your shopping cart. So what I tend to do is usually I'll put say within Australia or orders up to $100, $9.95. So this comes up in a smaller, lighter font in our checkout. But it's good to have an idea there. You can also put, if it's an express post, you could put express post in your title here and then put via Australia post within Australia, anything like that um, to make it very clear to your customers what they're going to be getting from you. Um, what you do want to make sure is that you have these comments at the end and beginning of your typing. So when you actually do that, if you want to highlight between the two commas and then type in there, that will keep the cart nice and happy. If you do miss those commas, it will throw up errors in your store and it will be a matter of um, getting in touch with us to sort it out. Um, you can always go back to this file and check that you have got them if you are getting errors coming up once you've done this. But for now, that's all we need to do. And so we're gonna go ahead and click save on that one and close that file off. And what we can actually do here is if we do a quick reload, we can see that our table rate is now called flat rate shipping within Australia. Um, none of our options here have changed. So that's all exactly as we just said it, um, except for the name. So that's a great way to actually customize the experience for your customer. Let them know exactly what's going on. Um, and the more that you can describe how to do things to your customer or what they're getting, the more comfortable they are buying online. So that's always a win for online shopping. Um, you want to make sure that they can do everything they need to. They know everything they need to to make that checkout decision nice and easy. If you've got any questions at all, pop on over to the blog, leave me a message or jump onto our Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Morris Bear Designs and leave me a message in there and we'll be sure to pop it up for the next tutorial. Thanks very much. Have a great day.